surprised when we thought that you weren't going to be able to make it yesterday and I'm, I'm actually just interested to know where you've, uh, where you've come from and how you got here. All the time coming and going, I am coming and I'm going. Now I am here. <laughs> Not necessary to understand. You understand? Not of the time people are thinking about how it is coming, how it is going. Then all the time thinking in the mind, I am jumping on the train, I am jumping on the plane, I am climbing down from the mountain, taking time, but not a power. Everything is now, everything is only now. I am here, I am here now. Enough. <laughs> that is enough. <laughs> When did you meet Kiara? Oh, is that? Kiara is coming to my cave. He's coming many, many years ago. He's sitting in my cave. He's coming. He's saying, I am looking for a wise man. I'm saying if you're looking for a wise man, you go somewhere else. <laughs> 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 saying, I am here now, I have found you. I'm saying you come and go. What do you want? He says, I am looking for wisdom. You understand? I'm saying if you're looking for wisdom, you sit over there in that corner. All the time he's sitting in the corner. Then he's asking the question, asking the question. I'm sitting, you keep the mouth shut. You sit in the corner. You understand? After some time, he's sitting in the corner. Then I can teach him. Nothing I'm teaching, you understand? Only he's teaching himself by sitting in the corner. Mind is going, mind is spinning all the time, round and round and round. But he's sitting in the corner. Everything is okay. Like that. Um, I think this is all of us. This is our last day here, and, um, and I think we all find it quite hard when we've been we've been on a retreat. Even though this is not completely away from the world, it's still very different away from our everyday lives. So I just wondered if you had any advice on like you you know you spend a lot of time in your cave, I guess, and then you come out into the world. How do you make that transition from being in this very nurturing space with just you know people? who are on the same sort of path together to being out, out in the world that may not seem so, um, so welcoming. Everything is welcome. It is only idea in the mind I am not welcome. You see, the cave is always there. Everywhere you go, the cave is there. You just carry the cave <laughs> everywhere you go. You understand? Cave is not a concept. It is not only physical place, it is inside the heart. If you can carry the cave inside the heart wherever you are going, the cave will always be with you. The, you're talking about the family. The family is inside the heart also, not outside only. You're carrying everything inside the cave. Yes. I am coming here from long distance. But I am carrying my cave inside myself. Right. Let me see. Kiara I was talking with Kiara. I'm sorry he's not here. 
I am giving him one blessing, meditation, practice, finished. He's gone, kaput. <laughs> Sometime soon he will be coming also. He's sitting in the cave now. But he's also here. The cave is not somewhere separate, you understand. Can I ask what has bring, brought you to England? <laughs> you brought me here. I am coming only for one purpose. People are thinking about purpose. Everything must have purpose. You're going from here to there, it must have purpose. You're living your life, it must have a purpose. You're incarnating in a body, it must have a purpose. Purpose is simply to be here, not necessary to have a purpose. Not necessary to think too much about the purpose. Purpose is unfolding all the time. Everywhere you go, everything you are doing, the purpose is unfolding. What is important is you must connect with your purpose. You must connect with yourself. You understand? Mm. Then everything is taking care of itself. Let's make that. Not necessary to understand everything. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mind. This is actually really quite a personal question, but I'm actually just quite curious about about how you care for your beard. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's so magnificent, and I, I just wondered if there was anything special that you did to keep it in such beautiful condition. <laughs> well, I thought David might be able to. Not thing to do, not necessary to do anything. Thank you. In fact, when you're not doing anything, then it is blooming mm -hmm. and blossoming and growing. You see, that is the simple blessing of life. You must not have to do anything in life in order to grow your beard. <laughs> well, <laughs> not. <laughs> not for me. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessary to grow the beard also. <laughs> it is growing, it is growing, it is not growing, not growing. <laughs> not necessary to do anything about anything. Understand? It is, everything in life is growing by itself, coming by itself, going, coming and going, coming and going. So you are li living in this cave without any purpose, <laughs> nothing to do, <laughs> being all by yourself. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am not saying I'm all by myself. Okay. Everything is coming inside the cave. I am connected with everything, everywhere, everyone. Okay. You understand? So you have a neighbor? Many <laughs> neighbors. Okay. You see. Kiara was showing me internet. <laughs> you can Google 
on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> There's a program in the internet you call Google Earth. You go into the program, you can find my KRP in Himalayas. <laughs> I do not need the internet. I am having internet. Understand? Everything is on the internet. All is in front of my eyes. Everything I can see on the internet. You understand? Everything is coming and going, coming and going, all the time in my cave. I am coming and going, coming and going. The cave is there. I am here. <laughs> I have an, another question about the beard. <laughs> Where does it come from? <laughs> it's happening by itself. Not necessary to come from anywhere or go anywhere. It is just happening. Sometimes the beer is there, sometimes the beer is not there. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes there are many different birds and animals that are coming in. <laughs> you see. Everything has a purpose. Even the beer has purpose. <laughs> In the Himalayas, you understand, it is getting very cold sometimes. You are just good keeping me warm. Mm -hmm. Everybody is keeping warm inside my wheel. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like there's a bit of contradiction in what we're saying there, because the beard has a purpose to keep you warm, and all just now you're saying that there is no purpose. Exactly. <laughs> you see, that is the paradox of your life. You understand paradox? Absolutely. Many paradoxes existing in life. You see, purpose of anything is arriving when you don't think you have a purpose. When you're not thinking anything at all, that is the purpose. Then the purpose is arising from within. You see, purpose is not what you think it is the purpose. The purpose is simply that. In the existence, in the flow, in the coming, in the going of life, in the consciousness, it is moving through the wind, the wind is blowing through your hair and your beard. That is the purpose. <laughs> I will get that. I know that. You know, looking at your, your magnificent facial hair, um, <laughs> I do, I, I, the, the question arises, I, is this, you know, perhaps, would you be able to just tell us a little about your, your perspective on attachment, if you have any problems ever with attachment? Attachment to the beard. <laughs> no, like that is not a problem. Sometimes it is getting attached. Sometimes it is getting detached. <laughs> that is like life also, you understand. All the time you are getting attached to something in the outside world. It may be people, it may be circumstances, it may be your thoughts about the future, it may be something in, in the past you are getting attached to, you want something to come back. It is not there, you want it to come back. Somebody is gone, you want him to come back. You want something in the future, you think it is better in the future, you want the future to come. Oh, this is part of the attachment. You understand? Yeah, I am saying, it is like that. Sometimes the attachment is there. Not to go chasing after the attachment, and not to go chasing after detachment also. And what is there is there. It is like that. A lot of times people are thinking, I must get detached, I must get detached from this. And detachment itself is becoming an attachment. <laughs> that is the problem. <laughs> no,
Mm. You simply go with the flow of the life as it is. Not thinking about detachment, attachment, anything like that. You just watch the flower in front of you with his hair. Just sitting in the water. It's blooming by itself. You are blooming by yourself. That is the experience. Everything else is a mental concept. Only in the mental concept there can be attachment and detachment. When you're living in the experience, you're like the flower, you're blooming like that. And the beard is simply growing like that. Not difficult to understand. You understand? <laughs> She's really obviously very elderly um, and I uh, was wondering do you have any insights into maybe your next incarnation or what form that might take? I am still here. <laughs> still not thinking about next incarnation. <laughs> Don't be in such a hurry. <laughs> They will come back like a sheep dog. <laughs> you see, everybody wants to come back like a llama. I am saying you go to Peru, you'll see many llamas in the mountains. <laughs> Your name? My name? Yeah. No, my name is Sri 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 Swami. Mm -hmm. Not meaning. No, no. It's simply my name. Okay. Actually, my name is not Sri 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 Swami. It is Sri Nivas, Sri Murti, Sri Vashta, Swami. You see, my father was Swami, so I am Swami. My father calling me Sri Niva, Sri Murti, Sri Vashta. With too much long name. By the time I'm there telling my name, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> so then they calling me Sri Sri Sri. Sri Sri Sri. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> like that they call me Sri Sri Sri. And sometimes people are thinking, oh, he must be very holy. Shri is very holy. You know, in India, if you call someone on Shri, you're a very holy person. And you're calling Shri Shri, it is double holy. <laughs> and then you're calling Shri Shri Shri, it's triple holy. <laughs> Not like that. That is my name. He's simply existing like that. I'm born like that. I'm arriving in the world with long name. Little bit easy to call me Shri Shri Shri. Actually not necessary to call me Shri Shri Shri. Call me Triple Shri. <laughs> <laughs> Triple Shri. No. Thank you. <laughs> Triple tree. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm wondering if you've had any insight into the whereabouts of the missing turds. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Who is the turd? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I don't know, maybe there's some connection with the triple tree. <laughs> <laughs> you must explain to me the definition of the term. <laughs> Well, um, <laughs> we have the third eye. <laughs> Not missing. It is there. You can focus on the third eye. <laughs> And it will not be missing anymore. <laughs> it is coming in full radiance, mm. awakening in the consciousness. Everything is awakening in the consciousness. And what is missing is the mind. Mind is gone. Problem is gone. I am not saying you get rid of the mind. You cannot get rid of the mind. Mind is a very useful tool. But too much of the time the mind is making up all the problems about everything. Where is the missing turd? Who oh, said it is missing? It is here. He's <laughs> sitting on the turd all the time. <laughs> Everything is in here. <coughs> Nothing is missing. Would you have a glass of water? Or would you like a glass of water? Because no, I've got one. No, water is okay. I can drink the water also. Sometimes yeah. it is important, it is necessary <laughs> to drink the water. Actually, I am noticing there is something in the bottle. <laughs> That is also very good. <laughs> oh, you, you know it. Ah, Kiara is telling me, he's oh, telling yeah. I'm bringing one kombucha for you. <laughs> this, this is the man who makes it. Ah. <laughs> yes, do, you have, do, you, do you have a message for, for, for the creator of the kombucha? <laughs> very good. <laughs> very good for the third eye. <laughs> he's opening the bliss temple. Of the brain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, when you're drinking the kombucha, you're experiencing the essence of the vibrational quality of kombucha. It is a very powerful substance. You see, when the mushroom is growing from the soil, it is opening to all the essence of the universe. Everything is going inside the mushroom body. That is why it is growing so quickly. And then when you are drinking the mushroom in your body, it is expanding the life force inside the body. Ah. <laughs> you Everything is holy. Elephant is holy. I am giving the holy water to the elephant. I am giving the holy water to the monkey. I am drinking the holy water from the elephant. I am drinking the holy water from the monkey. Everything is holy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so does anybody else have any questions? Um, you've ever been living in a relationship? Everything is relationship. Oh. You must define what you are asking. Mm. More specifically. Wife and children, marriage. That is been not holy? necessary, <laughs> okay. but it is okay if it is there, it is very desirable also. You see, I have a neighbor, next cave on the mountain, neighbor meaning relatively speaking, you understand, many, many long distance away. <laughs> <laughs> years old, big swami, 75 children, long time, <laughs> not same wife, any different wife, different time, you see, 359 years old, he went through one process, long time, many times, on Kaya Kappa. You go and sit inside the cave in complete darkness and you're growing your teeth, you're growing your hair, you're growing your beard, everything is falling out, coming back. All body falling out, coming back. After that, you can live another 50 years, 60 years, 70 years. Unfortunately, the wife is not going through the process. <laughs> Another wife coming, another children coming, another wife coming, another children coming. I am only sitting in my cave. I am watching the Swami. Like that. <laughs> I think it is not necessary to do anything. If you want to do anything, you can do anything. If you don't want to do anything, not necessary to do anything. You see, most of the time you're thinking it is important, thinking it is necessary to do something, to be something, to achieve something, to get enlightened, to have children, family, purpose, that is the problem. You just sit inside the cave. <laughs> Sometimes things are getting detached also. <laughs> You see, what I'm wanting to say, it's not coming out very well. <laughs> I am going to take one quick trip to the toilet. <laughs> You better show him before that. I don't know if um, that's sticking. <laughs> 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 <laughs>